Thursday. That means the positive HTTR music is being played. Well, mm-hmm. also positive because you have a god awful opponent in the Giants strolling into FedEx Field, being led by a third string quarterback. And we have to make our survivor pick today, correct? Yes. We have to make it today. Yes, I know. I know that. Uh, Lurch is already in. He texted us on Monday morning. He's already in with skins. I don't know if we'll go with that. Maybe we will. It's by far the biggest uh, number on the board, right? What are they currently favored by? I think it was 10 or 10 and a half last time I checked. I will give you the latest numbers Which, in a second. Well, you know, on the face of it, it's just absurd. You know, considering we, they're a division rival, we lost to them already this mm-hmm. year. I mean, it's just, it's a very scary number. Actually, they just gave up 620 yards to the Cowboys. And they have a third string quarterback in. The Dolphins are a bigger favorite. They are laying 13 and a half against the Raiders. Uh, the line's down to nine and a half. Mm. Well, some money coming in on the Giants. The commanders let down are uh, laying nine and a half and the over under. Uh, 37 and a half points. Gross. Right. <laughs> I put this in the Slack. Tommy DeVito, do you want to know some interesting nuggets? Yeah. I don't know if they're that interesting sure. nuggets about Tommy yeah, DeVito. Yeah, give me the latest on him. But I guess a beat reporter asked him, you know, some cliche stuff like favorite food. Yeah. He's su- Did he grow up in New Jersey? He uh, had to have been. He seems... God. Seems like a like a Sopranos he guy, yeah. Tommy DeVito. Did, did he go to Syracuse? His <laughs> favorite food. What do you think it is? Uh, hold on. Baked ziti. Chicken parm. Chicken parm. All right. <laughs> All right. sauce. Another Who, easy one. Who doesn't like chicken parm? <laughs> His uh, three dinner guests. If you get any, any three dinner guests, Jeff Bezos, as EB calls him, okay. Elon Musk, and Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> That's a weird mix. That's a weird mm. mix. I wouldn't want to have dinner with any of those guys. <laughs> I mean, literally none of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I would not want to have dinner. With, I would not want to break bread with any of those three people. Uh, give me John Daly. <laughs> His nickname's kind of money for a football player. What is it? Touchdown you, Tommy DeVito. TD. TD. Yeah. TD. Touchdown Tommy, Tommy DeVito. DeVito. He has to throw, he's from Livingston, New Jersey. There you go. Yeah, Cakes is right. I see the spread is now down to nine and a half. The total's 37 and a half. Uh, you got to put 425 bucks down. On Washington to win a hundred, I don't know if that's a very good bet there. Case. Yeah, probably not. It's, a, the, it's a little scary. By the way, Tommy DeVito, what a mama's boy. The headline is his mom still makes his bed. Yeah, he lives at home. <laughs> I understand he make, he lives at home, but I mean he's a grown man. His mom still making your bed for you? Oh, yeah. She makes him she dinner. Him. He's living the life. Big mama's boy. Uh, the matchup predictor on ESPN. Uh, what do you think it's at, Cakes? I think uh, we I'm, looked at it earlier in the week. I looked at. It. I'm gonna go. I mean, the spread is coming down a little bit. I'll say 74% Pretty close. in favor of the commanders. Is it around 71? 71. 71 and then like 28.7. <laughs> I'd like it in the 80s I guess if, we're, if we're going to pick them as our survivor pick. Small chance of a tie there. Uh, so in their last five, uh, they got smoked by Dallas last week, 49-17. Uh, the Raiders beat him 36. By the way, that the Dallas game was not even that close because the – DeVito it got threw, ugly early. Yeah, I mean, DeVito threw a touchdown or two late when the yeah. game was well out of hand. Right. Uh, he I finished think, with less than 100 yards passing in the game. They, I want to say less than 80. <laughs> who was playing quarterback when they lost to the Jets in overtime, that 13-10 uh, just snoozer? Uh, and then, of course, they beat us in one of the worst games uh, of the year, 14-7. And then prior to that, they'd actually played a close game uh, against Buffalo. Remember where they only lost 14-9. So they, they they actually played three very, very low-scoring games in the last five weeks. I think DeVito was definitely in the game. I don't know if he started the game against the Jets. The Jets. Yeah. He had a rushing touchdown in the game. Right. Tommy DeVito's QBR is 11.8. If you lose to that guy, if your team loses to that quarterback, that that's grounds for everybody to be fired. Right. Well, I, they might not pass the ball much. So I'm looking at the Jets Giants game. It looks like that was the game Tyrod Taylor got hurt because Taylor mm-hmm. was four for seven in the game for a total of eight yards. Where was the game that he got? Then Tommy at? DeVito. Listen to this. Tommy DeVito came in the game for mm-hmm. Tyrod Taylor, who had thrown for eight yards. And at least according to this box score, Tommy DeVito was two for seven for negative one yard. <laughs> where was the game where he got yelled at by Dable for uh, screwing up? Was it the Jets game? For screwing up uh, 
like right before halftime or whatever. Remember, they didn't get any points. He called or at the end of the game. He called a run, and they couldn't. Oh, that was, but that points. was that was Ty- Tyrod. That's what I meant. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What game was that? I'm not sure. Can't remember. Was that Buffalo? Possibly. It, it could have been this game, it, or it could have been the Jets game. Um. Anyway, in our last five, of course, uh, we lost to Seattle, 29-26. The win over New England. Uh, the again. Somewhat of a moral victory, but not really against Philly, where they lost 38-31. The loss to the Giants, and then prior to that, they got the win over Atlanta. So, been a very, very up and down season for Washington. There, I know there are people out there that want to now embrace the tank. Um, I don't have the tenth pick in the draft right now. I saw a couple of uh, mock drafts yesterday. Yeah, one of them had them taking the tight end from Georgia, Bowers. Okay, Brock Bowers, stud. Yeah, he might be, but. they need to draft an offensive lineman. I'm going to be bitter if they don't draft an offensive <laughs> lineman in the first round. They have to. I don't care if it's a guard. I, it's a screaming I don't care need. If it's a center. They got to. They got to draft an offensive lineman. They need it. And they need, and they need to uh, uh, probably sign a top notch one. I would be shocked if they drafted a lug. Now again, it's a it's a mock draft in right in freaking November during the middle but of the season. I would be. I would be. Comp- I would be knocked over if they took a luxury item tight end. At, with the tenth or like twelfth pick, too. wherever they wind up picking. Me too. Oh, by the way, my mind. in that Giants Jets game, because I think this would be the formula, and the Giants lost that game thirteen ten. But this would be the formula if they are going to win. They threw the ball fourteen times in the game between Taylor and Devito. They ran the ball fifty two times. Right. Well, I would expect a similar dose of that. I mean, Saquon is going to get worn out this weekend. At FedEx, he's going to get all the opportunities. Well, the other the counter to it is remember, um, in in that game, uh, Wink Martindale and those guys they 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 drew up those blitzes. They brought pressure. Uh, Offensive line was horrible. I mean, how many times was House sacked? Was he six 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 times in that game? Um, Six times, fifty-two yards. Uh, Are they going to be able to handle the pressure in this second outing? I mean, you would think you would adjust. Now, they've had, he's had three good outings in a row, and that's what I've asked of him. I said, keep stacking good games, right? Mm-hmm. You know, got to keep stacking them. This will be important to see if they continue. My guess is they will handle it a lot better. I feel like he and enemy are on a good page right now. They're getting rid of the football pretty quickly. He's making good decisions. So I do think it will be a different outcome. The, the team in this matchup that is in tank mode is not the commanders. It should be. The Giants. Oh, the Giants, yeah. like, there's no more motivation for them. There shouldn't be, aside from job preservation, to win games down the stretch. You realize? They should be, they should be lining themselves up for a top three or four pick. At this I might point. be shying away from taking the Commanders. They punted 10 times in that game against the Giants. Who the Commanders did? Yes. Well, they remember, they didn't handle the pressure well at all. I mean, all those, those sacks were drive and, killers. And now it's, it, Valdez has... We burrowed into my brain wind game. Wind game. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check gotta, out the I wind time forecast. Weather looks like 63 degrees. That's what I see. Right, does what, you have the wind on there? Yeah, Manila. wind. Wind gusts. What you, are we looking? You at? gotta use. You gotta use like the wind apps, like the windy app. Uh, I don't even know what that is. I mean, is. it says. I need if. What, what are the gusts? <laughs> All right, and, and, we'll and you gotta it. look, and you gotta look at Landover too. You can't do like DC. <laughs> okay. No, no, yeah, no, I know this is for specific. this is for FedEx Field. Okay, yes. Okay, FedEx Field. Let me go for daily. Um, I have the hourly for today. Yes, yeah, Sunday one p- one to four p.m. All right, Sunday it says fifty eight, high of fifty eight, wind northwest eight miles per hour. That's, oh. that's nothing. No wind nothing. game. Nothing. This is a non wind game for Sam Howell. Nothing. Why you want it to be windy? What are, what, what are you doing? Well, over I want I want my point to be proven. You want to be vindicated. Correct. You want it to be windy and for Sammy to play poopy. No, well, hey, I, that's what you want. You want it to be windy no, no, and for he, Sammy to play. Poopy. I don't want. I don't want him to play poopy. But for whatever reason, no one is taking my wind hypothesis to seriously. Me. Your wind game theory will be put to the test when the Commanders go back to MetLife. I believe it's Christmas Eve when they play the Jets, December twenty fourth. You know you it's going it to be, be you know it's going to be then? windy on December twenty fourth already. No, I'm just guessing because oh. MetLife is already a wind tunnel as it is. There's tons of wind there, and it's late December. Of course, it's going to be windy. 
20 to 30 mile an hour wind gusts. I'm calling it a month plus in advance. <laughs> there, there's your wind game. Well, that that totally that totally uh, makes me change my my thinking about the game. So, what is your thinking now? Pro Commanders, I'm pro, pro Sam Howell. Pro Commanders, pro Howell. Because, hey, okay. you're an expert on the on Martindale because he was the DC <laughs> well, for the Ravens, that's right? A stretch, <laughs> but okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a I'm a, a wink savant. <laughs> well, he says he's a Ravens expert. Uh, he yeah. was with the Ravens for a while. Yeah. Well, I don't. Is he going to come at them the exact same way? Typically, typically that's what he does. But yeah. although I think he may, uh, the Tiger changed his stripes. He's not blitzing as much. Yeah. Well, well he, did against, up, he did against Sam Howell the first time. Yeah. They're giving up uh twenty six point six points per game. I, I'm starting so. to think I'm starting to think like drab where I, you guys, especially Eric, just like saying Wink Martindale. I couldn't care less about that guy's stupid name. I mean it doesn't it's an easy name to remember and he's got a, an easy reputation. <laughs> what what, what all other time. defensive coordinators do you know? I mean, he's one of them. <laughs> Spagnol. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to Eric. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I don't know. It's not something that I obsess on. He's just a guy that has a reputation for blitzing. Well, you want me? To, I mean, you, you mean to look through the teams and see if I can name all he the He is somebody that does have that reputation. I, uh, yeah. And I mean, we I saw know. it earlier this season, yeah. just a month ago. I think I know a half dozen offensive coordinators. I'm trying to think of who's, who's the Cowboys defensive coordinator. The Cowboys? I was just trying to think of that. It's kind of, I'm kind of blanking on the Cowboys DC right now. Mm. Why am I spacing Come on, on that? Oh, I know who it is. I know. It. Now I know. Former head coach lost the Super Bowl oh, in the agonizing Atlanta, fashion. The yeah, Atlanta. Dan Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, yeah, Dan Quinn. Yeah. yeah, the guy from Atlanta. But I don't know Dan Quinn's MO. I'm sure he has one. I don't know what his MO is. Like Wink Martindale, you know his MO. It's the same thing with um, the guy that we had on the show that's coaching the freaking XFL now, um, Greg Williams. <laughs> like to me, they're similar. Attack mode. Yeah. That's why I can remember those guys. Um, I don't know. I remember we had the guy that uh, that, that, that drank all the coffee when he was here. Um, but everybody <laughs> likes him now. Drank all Joe, the coffee. Joe, uh, whatever his name is. Oh, Joe, Barry. Joe Barry. Oh, Barry. Joe Barry. I think he drank like 40 cups of coffee or something. <laughs> that sounds like me and Valdez on a good yeah, day. I think he was a big coffee guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, he wasn't a big defense guy when he was here. No, but no, I, but now everyone his, likes him. Now he's taking a star turn. Yeah. Apparently, How nervous somehow. are you, though, that they blow this game? I mean, I'm not that nervous about it because to me the season's already over. Ask me. How nervous are you, Cakes? 0.0% nervous. I'm not nervous. Commanders because should win this in, in a laugher. The die is opinion. already cast. We can definitely lose it. I'm, I'm 80% confident we're going to win. 80%? That's now, a good it, percentage. It could be a snoozer. It could be another oh, dud. It's going to be an ugly game. Yeah, I mean, it could be another dud. Um, but I think I think we'll probably win, but I don't have... Any expectations of anything because I think we already screwed the pooch. We already, we already lost the two big ones that we had to win, and frankly, we had to beat Seattle. The Seattle loss will will could be, but if you get a win, and I know we know what the schedule is, it's tough, it's daunting. You get a win, you're still in it, but somewhat. you got to sweat at five and six. Well, then you got to beat Dallas. I mean, it's a must. And win. you went through the NFC yesterday. We did the JP PP, and we came up with the Commanders at twenty one in the NFC. You only had seven teams worse. Like, it wasn't like three teams. So, you have them kind of on the bubble for that playoff spot. Well, here's the thing. If you can find a way to beat Dallas next week. Now, that's a Thanksgiving game, right? Yes, correct. I actually do have some fond Thanksgiving memories. We've actually won some decent you, you Thanksgiving games. You RG3 just destroying yeah. the Cowboys on Thanksgiving we, back in the day. It's actually happened. Sure. If we actually beat them by a miracle... Maybe by the end of the season, as we've said, that it won't matter. They're two and eight, by the way, in ten games against the Cowboys gonna, on Thanksgiving. I'm going to test you on memory. You remember the you two on your Thanksgiving football? Oh, no, 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 I won't do well. What team always plays first on Thanksgiving? He has to know that. I mean, I'm just—it's a softball. No, I mean, I know Detroit always plays. I didn't know who the order. Do they always play first? They always play first, oh. at least in recent memory. Well, at least this year's Detroit team's going to be interesting to watch. Should be fun. So are they. Uh, I don't even know the lineup. Are the Vikings playing again? The, the Packers? It's Detroit and I think Detroit's playing the Packers. It's it's yeah. one of the it's an NFC North De matchup. Detroit Packers. Detroit Packers. Commanders, Cowboys, Seahawks, 49ers. Yeah. That's your lineup. All right. It's fine. I'll be in Jersey. It'll be a long day. <laughs> I'll be in Jersey as well. <laughs> it's a long day. Thanksgiving's a long day. I love Thanksgiving. My favorite holiday. A lot of people's favorite holidays, Halloween. 
But this guy right here, Thanksgiving. I mean, the worst part is Halloween's <laughs> not even technically considered a holiday. I know, but people. But I you, do. I do love me some Halloween. What do you like more, Halloween or Thanksgiving? I like Thanksgiving more, okay, but Halloween's good. right there. I mean, Ooh. it's make, always making a push. Drab, you're more of a Thanksgiving guy. Don't most people like Thanksgiving? I mean, it's got I mean, be. if you're over the age of six, yeah, you like Thanksgiving more than Halloween. <laughs> okay. Well, you I'll guys are all big uh, Halloween guys. You I'll guys are all into you. costumes. Uh, I mean, Halloween doesn't make the top a, five. Huh? <laughs> you okay. do no days off, no second day off. Okay. The, no football. Okay, can we stop obsessing on the day off part of part about it? But as far as like just the whole day, <laughs> Halloween's right up right. there. It's top three. Yeah. We get it. You like horror movies, cakes. Duh. Yeah, everybody does. Candy. Candy. Everybody? Known <laughs> socializer, John Avil loves <laughs> Halloween talking to everyone who comes to his door. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's mostly kids coming to the door. Let's mm. be honest. My mom said she didn't have one kid. Come to her door. Hold on. Pointer Ridge is now down on trick or treaters. Dude, they're What's closing the elementary school. There's like no kids living in the neighborhood. I mean, there have to be some kids living there. You know that our elementary that's school, depressing. I think they're saying, is less than 50% full. Yeah. That's, I brought it up the other day. I find they're, that crazy. They're closing it. Because like the, the elementary schools that my wife is taught at in Prince George's County, they, they have temp buildings everywhere mm-hmm. to handle overflow. Yeah, but cakes, think about our neighborhood. I've said this before. There are new families that yeah. have come into our old neighborhood. It's an aging neighborhood. But, yeah, I, I mean, you have a but lot of Mrs. One, Bickle still in the hood. Or trick-or-treater? I'm going to a... She didn't have one. That's an outrage. Going to a party on Saturday for a 90-year-old man who <laughs> lives in the neighborhood. You think <laughs> he's got kids living in the house? Uh, he certainly doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't have a bunch of Tommy DeVitos like the freeloading in the house. Well, if he did, they're in their 50s. Yeah, well, then they're losers, if that's the case.